going to discuss about how to run multiple commands using one PowerShell. So opening the PowerShell first. So here I'm using the Windows 11 operating system and PowerShell 7 version that install is there. So first uh, running first command, dir. If I press enter, then you can see list of directory that's available on the desktop location as well as some executable files are also there. So files are also there. Now next command using CRS. Then after using two command this time dir and here using echo and trying to print hello world. Press enter then you can see this is the output for our directory and this is here output of the echo. So let's use here CLS command this times and writing here CLS. So command on power cell that's separated by the semicolon. Then using echo and printing hello guys. Press enter, then you can see the screen that has cleared. After that, this is printing the echo command. Now the next is here writing write minus host and uh, printing uh, something like please subscribe. So this message so that display next command that separating with the semicolon and let's use here echo. So both has same work. So the work is to display something on the screen. So here you can see right host or that displaying well is hello subscribe please subscribe echo hello. Now this time is going to use here three command first is CLS. Next is write minus host and writing here JSON and third command that I'm going to use so creating here one directory mkdir and creating the directory PowerShell. So three things gonna hope happen this time. So mkdir no need to give the double quotes. So what happened this place first that to the killer of the screen this all killer then that display JSON then after creating create here one directory with the name PowerShell. So PowerShell are not available this place. So press enter then you can see here JSON that displaying PowerShell created. This is a directory and length it's not there timing and date is there so here you can see power cell that's created okay so this is how we can run multiple commands on one line in power cell so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you